Hello friends, welcome to the course Apache Spark on Cloudera, Adobe CDH and GCP for beginners. So this course is going to address the building a real-time pipeline using a Spark Structure Streaming. And we are going to build this system or this uh, entire data pipeline using a Google Cloud Platform. Google Cloud Platform, uh, you can actually enable a free trial account which they give a 300 USD dollar free trial free trial account. Uh, you can use that credit for uh, uh, within uh, 12 months. Okay, you can uh, use many services from GCP, and we can create our uh, real real time uh, Spark and uh, Adobe environment to build this project. We are going to use the NoSQL databases like MongoDB, Cassandra for storing uh, uh, raw data as well as the summarized uh, aggregated data. We are going to use the Apache NiFi, which is an ETL tool for data ingestion. We are going to get the real-time data and we are going to uh, use the NiFi for, as a kind of uh, simulator for your uh, retail data. And it's, it's going to cover uh, many of the things in this course, like from the setting up a CDH 6.3 cluster and building the data pipeline and then building the visualization using a Python uh, uh, package called Dash. And we are going to use the Zeppelin for building your uh, chart and other stuff. And I'm going to give you the uh, uh, a very deep uh, introduction uh, and uh, uh, tutorial on Docker and containerization. Uh, so this, this will be a, a kind of uh, uh, creating a Google trial account and uh, then we'll be building this uh, real time, uh, uh, the Adobe cluster environment and we'll be building a data flows uh, in the uh, Apache NiFi. And uh, this is the uh, one of the page in the uh, uh, real-time data dashboard. We can build a many, many uh, chart using uh, uh, the dash package in the Python. And also we'll be building uh, so many charts in the, uh, uh, so many charts using uh, um, uh, Apache Zeppelin, okay? So uh, uh, the, the, then we have to, we are going to cover that actually uh, there is a component called uh, uBrowser which is used for uh, many activities like uh, you can use as a query editor for uh, uh, Impala and Hive and we can use for uh, browsing your HDFS file, other information. So this, going, this uh, course is going to be a, a, a 46 uh, lecture of, uh, course which will give you more information about uh, uh, how do you become uh, uh, become a data engineer, how do you can actually uh, go to the real-time environment, work on this uh, real-time projects. 